what causes skin aging? And what is yeah. skin aging? What, you know, in general, from a medical science perspective, what's going on? Yeah. So skin aging is basically a degeneration of the skin tissue, and it's caused by two processes. One is the internal aging. That's uh, the natural aging process. Our cells are, you know, constantly dividing and they're accumulating mutations and and there is this buildup of, you know, inflammation in our body. Uh, the other process is the e extrinsic aging. That's basically all the environmental uh, stressors that we are exposed on a daily basis. So primarily UV exposure, but also pollution, uh, obviously smoking and uh, other types of radiation. Uh, both of these processes, they cause damage in our cells and in, or directly in our DNA or proteins. <clears throat> they increase the production of uh, free radicals. And this all contributes to the accumulation of these old cells that we call the like senescent cells uh, or zombie cells. And, uh, and, and the main problem of this old cells or senescent cells is that they start secreting inflammation mm -hmm. and the inflammation that they secrete basically leads to collagen breakdown, leads to uh, a dysregulation melanin synthesis, and this consequently leads to sagging wrinkles, dark spots. Uh, so if we were going to simplify, we can say that senescent cells accumulation is one of the main drivers of skin aging. Uh, there are several ways that uh, we can lead to you know, uh, cellular senescence. And the interesting part is that when we are young, our body is able to recognize those senescent cells and clear them out of the way. Mm -hmm. So our immune system is supposed to do this uh, well, but as we grow older and we accumulate more and more of those senescent cells, the inflammation beca becomes to a point that it overwhelms our immune system. Our immune system is, gets deficient and they accumulate. And that's when it leads to those uh, dysfunctions that uh, in the skin we see as signs of aging. And obviously is also associated with skin cancer, but in other tissues in our body, the accumulation of those cells is associated with several age-related diseases. So it could be heart diseases, brain diseases. Yeah. So this is considered one of the main hallmarks of aging because it's not uh, it happens you know throughout our body, our bodies, and then that's why we are very interested in how we can decrease the amount of those. Uh, zombie cells in our skin. Yeah, the way the way I learned it, and let me bounce this off you for um, for feedback is, you know, for human cells at least, we typically have something called the Hayflick limit, which is the number of times a cell can divide, and I think that is like fifty cell divisions. Yeah, yes, about the Hayflick that. limit, mm -hmm. and at the end of fifty cell divisions, uh, cells. Uh, should have the decency to die. <laughs> um, you've done your job, you've divided, okay, now go away. But uh, two other outcomes can occur. One, they can go immortal and become cancers, mm -hmm. um, which is not a good thing. Or the second thing, like you said, they can become uh, uh, senile cells, also known as zombie cells, grouchy old man cells. And as those cells are sitting there not dying, they're sort of like in this, uh, this, this, again, a zombie state, and they're just pumping out inflammatory molecules that are recruiting other cells around them um, and causing this inflammation. Uh, and uh, I think it's your, it's your innate, uh, your natural killer cells, your innate immune system that's supposed to find yeah. uh, those. I know I've, uh, you know, Dr. Bob Hariri, uh, who's mm -hmm. the CEO of, of Cellularity, and we've been talking about uh, the idea of, of supplementing your NK cell population yeah. to help you with senescence and cancer and so forth. But I think the point you made is as we get older, there's a concept called uh, immunoexhaustion, where your immune system is just getting exhausted. It's fighting against all these viruses. It's fighting against, you know, uh, all the the increasing senescent cells, and it can't it can't catch up. 